Hi, good morning. Happy Thursday. My name is Andrew. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, my, I am a real-time editor with RTV6, which is an ABC station here in Indianapolis. So what that means as a real-time editor is I mainly focus on our digital content. Um, so I write stories, I post on social media, I send push alerts. Pretty much if it's digital, we do it. Um, but I also help tell stories in real time, um, whether that's breaking news or a press conference or whatever. Um, my job is to basically work with the whole newsroom um, to get information out as fast as we can on a bunch of different platforms to everyone. So it is 10.57, I just got done taking a shower um, and getting ready for the day. Um, and now I have a class that I have to go to, but it's also the funeral um, for IMPD officer Brianne Leith. Um, she was shot and killed in the line of duty last week um, in the funerals today. So I'm gonna try to do some class, watch a little bit of that, and then I have more interviews and meetings and whatnot, um, pretty much until midnight tonight. Kind of sprinkled in there, but I think we might need something a little higher up. And so I'm, I'm still both going. been pretty busy, uh, but I think it would be interesting, and we can definitely reach out to them and see if they might talk about how things have been during the COVID nineteen pandemic and. Um, Okay, so it's about 3.35 right now. I've already been logged on um, for a while. I've gotten all set up. I had to jump right into things because we had Governor Holcomb's press conference and we also had the final 1042 call um, for Officer Leaf. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about how I start my day and how I get everything set up and a little bit of what my home office so this is what my desk looks like. It's actually just my kitchen table that I've converted into my desk so that I have enough space to have two monitors. So on one of them, I typically keep up TweetDeck and some other things that I monitor. And then this is primarily the monitor I use to work on everything. So when I log in, one of the first things I do is I just scroll through our website and take a look at what content we have posted, um, what stories are gonna need to be updated, what's happening right now. I also go through emails and stuff like that. Um, I have six different scanners pulled up on the computer so we can keep monitoring things um, while we're working from home. I also have a scanner over there and one over there as well. Um, so we're keeping an eye on everything um, that's still going on. So one of the things that we do every evening as a digital team is we have a uh, evening meeting where we just kind of go over what's happening for the day. It's basically like a handoff from the morning shift to the evening crew. So, so we know what's going on, where we need to jump in and help, what's happening right now, where can we help out, and then what's our plan gonna be for the rest of the day. So we all meet online since we're all working at home and we just kind of talk about what our plans are for the evening and what is going on. I don't think Kara did that one, but we just double check and make sure because she's done multiple scam ones recently. I don't think she did. So one of the things that we do is we publish web stories. So we write our own web stories and we publish them. Um, so this is what it looks like on the back. All of the information, we write the story, we put a bunch of stuff in there. And then this is what it looks like on the website. Um, so once this gets posted, then we put it out on social media and we make sure that it shows up in the app and everything like So this that. story that I just wrote about, it's a big deal. A lot of universities, including Ball State University, where I go, canceled graduation um, for the spring because of the pandemic. So now um, we're starting to see a lot of these things being rescheduled. So, or, excuse me, Butler says they are going to hold one big commencement in December for anyone who's gonna graduate in 2020. Um, so this is one of the first rescheduling uh, commencements that we have. So we posted this and got it on social media. And now I'm on to the next story. So that's one thing about our, um, my job and at um, the assignment desk when we're in the newsroom. Um, 
we move quickly where we've got a lot that's going on and so we move um very quickly so this is pretty much what a typical day for me looks like it's pretty much just me sitting at a computer with a bunch of scanners talking with our crews to help them out as much as i can um, with digital stuff i'm posting web stories i'm looking for story ideas and working with our crews to see uh, where we need to send people for breaking news and, and different things like that so this is pretty much what it looks like when i'm working every now and then i get to go out in the field and do things but uh, especially when i'm working from home this is what it looks like for eight hours a day so a plane that's registered to an Indianapolis LLC, it crash landed this morning in Cincinnati and they captured the video of the plane starting to come in to land on the interstate on the traffic cameras. And it's just, thankfully no one was hurt, but you can see they had to move it there. Um, they used a crane to move it. No one was injured, but um, this is crazy. Okay, so this is pretty much a day in my life work from home edition. If you have any questions for me about my job or um, about my work from home routine, setup, whatever, um, just message me or mention me on whatever social media platform you're seeing this and I will answer it. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy. That is very important right now and make sure to take care of yourself. Uh, and I will see you all later.